Taking out this weak GDI position will allow us to reclaim our Sarajevo temple without interruption. Move to an open area and build your base. GDI patrols are known to be in the area. Do not mar the Brotherhood's name any further. Welcome back, Commander. Unit ready. Yes, sir. So after our lightning attack on a GDI position last time, we're now moving up, hopefully, to join forces, or at least put pressure on the GDI on the southern side from the uh, similar attacks from Vega coming from the north. We've already seen uh, at least some interaction with the Vega, so, well, let's just hope that uh, in this timeline, if it's different anyways, that he's a little bit smarter about his choices in life. Speaking about smart choices in life, um, this map's a little tricky, I'd say, for a new player. Um, just because of kind of what it throws at you. You might think that it's advantageous to take this first area, considering there's two Tiberium fields, each with trees, and, well, there's a lot of flat ground, and you can kind of tell exactly where the enemy is going to come from. The problem with this is that, um, well, we'll see later, but you've kind of got a very long trek if you want to get anywhere. And sure, you could capture this southern outpost, I guess we'll call it, um, but it just makes it tedious because depending on what you're trying to build, you have to redo your base somewhere else. necessarily know why I'm pulling away my units here. It seems like I'm just taking a little bit of extra damage for no real benefit. This is also one of those instances where you probably want to destroy the barracks. I'm kind of... I'm, I'm usually opposed to the idea of destroying um, enemy buildings, if I can help it. But, well... We can see that uh, the AI doesn't seem to really care so much about their losses. New construction option. Or about their monetary situation. I don't even have to look at the triggers to know that as soon as it's run out, as soon as it loses its patrol or whatever, it immediately replaces with a team type of two light infantry. And as long as it has money in those silos, it'll keep producing it. I guess technically also the refinery as well, but that's kind of a given. Awaiting orders. Unit reporting. Unit reporting. Waiting orders. If you do manage to, or if you do decide, I should say, to build your base up north in the corner, at least you have the option to uh, kind of go around and capture the base from a different side. Sadly for us, this mission, it's, it's not tough. And at least I can say that it's a nice like stepping point to the more complex missions. It does come with one nasty surprise though that I wasn't expecting. And I think it's more of a matter of the fact that I'm on hard rather than anything else. So this is sort of the um, quote-unquote problem, is that uh, you can choose to skip past that little outpost, the top right corner, everything, and build in this area. 
it doesn't offer the same sort of uh, terrain, just a lot, a lot more it's broken ground and so on. But you do end up close to at least three Tiberium fields. And you don't have to wait around as much when moving from one space to another. Oh, and as always, it's generally helpful to scout a map first. On my way. The reason I say this is, well, this handy little trick. Unit ready. Sadly, you don't really see this sort of interaction in levels all that much. But when you do, it's hard not to smile and appreciate what the developers are doing. Sir? How can you not like such a small but fun addition to the game? Uh, someone recently posted in the thread, and if you're not posting on SA, then what the hell are you doing? But uh, mentioning that the Tick Tank's kind of a dumb name, I don't know. I appreciate it for what it is. It does specifically reference what it actually does, so it's hard to say that it's not at least like thematic to it. Sir. I mean, let's face it. When you have something like the Devil's Tongue, unit ready. Are you really gonna? Poop all over Tick Tank? I don't think so. Sir? Unit ready. Yes, sir. Awaiting orders. Sir? Unit ready. Awaiting orders. Unit ready. Unit ready. It must be said, for this level, you're probably going to want to do kind of a similar thing as I've been doing, but probably have way more, or at least some engineers, uh, in your starting forces. If only because, well, it's nice to not have to wait around. And capturing buildings, at least in this mission, is a lot easier than simply destroying any orders. Sir, on my waiting order. Unit report, yes, sir. Unit reporting. It certainly doesn't help Unit that ready. the GDI forces here have two uh, harvesters at least, and I think they have two refineries as well. Waiting so orders. they're kind of going to be really sir, efficient at tossing sir, out um, destroyers. And yeah, we have attack buggies, sure, but those aren't exactly stellar performers against uh, those those pesky guys. Unit reporting. Waiting order without. Waiting orders. Yes, sir. Unit reporting. Construction complete. Ah! This is also one of those scenarios that I really wish I had subterranean APCs for. Someday that tech will get unlocked. And then it's basically just a matter of time before I abuse the hell out of that mechanic. I was scanning the city because I wanted to see if I could find any any cargo or something to give me some free money. Sir, you got it. Unit ready. Insufficient funds. Sir, unit ready. Waiting orders. On my way. Waiting order. You got it. Unit reporting. Moving out. Unit Sir. ready. Lost. Oh, 
and it seems like the uh, Sarajevo base is actually a thing. So, if that's the case, then where the hell is Vega? Eh, it's probably not something I should think about too much anyways. Also, I think I messed up the waypoint? Okay, no, perfect. For a second I was worried that I messed that up. Oh, I don't think I've ever mentioned it. Um, I know we've seen it with the GDI side when it comes to the hover MRLSs. Um, certain vehicles can spawn uh, a unit if it's destroyed. The Tick Tank, and I don't know if it's the only vehicle specifically that does it, I don't recall anybody else doing it. Maybe Disruptors. But Tick Tanks will almost always, or more likely than not, generate a uh, technician slash pistol shooting guy rather than an actual light infantry. In a way, it kind of makes them... Like, I don't want to say more useless, because that's really mean. You certainly can't really compare it to the GDI side. I guess the closest analogy would be the Titans, but Titans don't produce any sort of unit whenever they explode. Right, so they only had one Tiberium refinery. But I certainly wasn't expecting them to have jump jet infantry. And sadly for me, jump jet infantry are just a little too good versus single rocket infantry. Especially when they don't have to move to get a couple attacks in. does it specifically. The um, reinforcements just come in every so often, and I forget if they have um, a radar that if you destroy it removes that trigger or not. I'll have to make a mental note to try and remember that for later. Actually, I don't even see a radar. Alright, whatever. Now, there is one funny interaction that you can do, or at least I remember being able to do. Um, once we're done destroying all the GDI stuff here, um, there's a in-game cinematic that will play out, and I believe if you have units nearby, they'll actually attack them, and they don't break it in any way, but it is funny to watch. Sadly, I don't do it. Secondary objective achieved. I believe if you have Nod Buggies there, they'll shoot them, but I forget. Mission yes, accomplished. Sir. I also wasn't expecting to get control there. 